Hi, hello, how are you all doing today? Listen, so instead of talking about, you know, the random problems and your trials and tribulations that I'm going through currently within my mental state, instead of talking about that, because, you know, I feel like it's kind of getting old. Well, for the most part, not really. I remember this whole channel is for therapy. But the one thing I am going to talk about today is because you saw in the title thumbnail, you don't have to watch the video if you don't want to, let this be known. But I am going to talk about Dead Space. Now, I'm not just going to talk about Dead Space. I'm also going to talk about Dead Space, as in, you know, Dead Space, everything about it. And when, like, what, like, and how, like, when I'm just in a Dead Space mood, I'm not going to lie to y'all, because the new game's going to come out pretty soon. And I, I saw a quick trailer. I didn't see the full thing. I, I literally just saw a small clip. I stopped it right there because I want to not spoil myself for it, even though I already know how it, the game ends because I played the entire fucking, you know, the entire series or whatever. But I want to have like, oh, I want to be able to experience all the new stuff they added into it, all the new details that went into it, the new sounds specifically. That would be so fucking cool. I want to hear the uh, the soundtracks. I want to know if there's also if there is a new soundtrack or if they added the old one back into this one or they just like touched it up because, you know, it came out like back in 360 time. And that was, you know, it, it wasn't as grand as, you know, it could have been as in like details and quality, but it still looked really fucking good like the original dead space looks absolutely phenomenal compared to modern day gaming right now it is such a beautiful game and i love the way how everything was implemented into it and it just the ambiance of dead space like if you were to go around like right now listen for those of you that don't know if right now i would probably make a dead space video and just look at all the details in within the game like within the first couple missions or whatever because there's a lot of that goes on within the first few missions oh my god so i would have love to do that but as you can see i don't have my shit with me so instead i'm gonna talk about it <laughs> nonetheless i am thoroughly excited for the new dead space game i'm also thoroughly excited for the new callisto protocol or at least i say new it's new for me it's been out for like a few weeks or whatever the fuck but i haven't been able to play it i know that the original developers of dead space also made the callisto protocol so it'll be a very beautiful uh, way to see uh, dead space and, the, and juxtapose dead space the callisto protocol and see them parallel with each other and see how they all work and i want to see the detail in both games and see how the one this ambiance of sound from the callisto protocol to the ambiance of sound of the dead space remastered i want to be able to see that and experience that and see what that all like entails to have i think it'll be so much fun just to go through everything and see all the little details that they added within the game both games specifically i am i will say though like it's a it's a weird relationship i have right now with both uh games simply because i fucking already am in love with the dead space series that's just me i fucking love the dead space uh, dead space series dead space one and two phenomenal i love them dead space three i still like it i had so much fun with dead space three a lot of people don't like dead space three because of the microtransactions but you mean you know like if you look past that because i didn't like fun fact i didn't use any other weapon in dead space three except for the basics the basics like gun that you get whatever the very stereotypical gun i literally used that all throughout dead space three until like like uh, a quarter of the way done with it when one of my friends was like it was like yelling talking shit to me but like, how he had all this cool shit to add to his gun and i'm like i don't even know what the fuck this is like i, I just had the fucking like i just that's it that's all i have and he talks so much shit about me because of that and then i finally i decked it out at the very end but nonetheless i still went through that whole dead space 3 with literally bare bones like that's it <laughs> but other than that so i want to talk about this again i'm like i'm always gonna talk about this i don't know why i'm saying that I am thoroughly excited for both games because one, I like, I don't think you understand. Dead Space was one of those games where it was my first ever true horror game. Now, let me get this out of the way. I've played other horror games before, okay? I played Halo Combat Evolve the Flood mission, okay? I've played that mission. Don't worry. I know what horror is like. <laughs> but I also played other little random horror games through, uh, throughout before, and but they were very minute and they were very minuscule compared to like the actual throwing myself into a horror game like destiny i'm mean, not destiny i'm Des destiny's talking shit like dead space 3 
what, uh, a, f- a fun example is I tried to play Outlast 3 or uh, Outlast 1, the first one, the first Outlast that came out. I remember I really did try to play it. This is off topic, but it all leads back into the same, you know, track. I did try to play uh, Outlast and I played it literally through the, uh, the first mission. Like, I won't lie to y'all. This, well, this, legitimately, this legitimately happened. I played Outlast, uh, the first Outlast, went through the mission, went through the little library, saw the guy impaled via like Ivan the Terrible, you know, whatever the fuck, like, you know, he's like, he's like telling you to run away, go through all that, go through a little random cutscene and end up like locked in a room, right? And there's like some computers and stuff, we gotta turn on power, I don't really know. I know I had to go in an elevator, go down the ed- elevator, and it was like a watery room and there was like two guys just walking around in a preset motion, right? I want you to know, I was so fucking terrified within that beginning first like epilogue mission or whatever the fuck i was so uh just uh or not epilogue prologue i forgot which one it is listen when i get excited i just only i get I, my mind kind of just it's really weird anyways so i only pl- uh, played until that point and i remember seeing like you know this like right down the elevator water on the ground you to go turn the power for like the inside the insane asylum want you to know i was so fucking terrified for that whole beginning thing i legitimately dashboard quit that's what ha- whenever you, you exit the game dashboard quit quit the game and uninstall the game <laughs> i i uninstalled the game because i was deeply terrified of the whole thing because i'm not i don't like horror like i'm not good with, I, I don't i don't i don't i don't i can't grasp horror it just is too much for me i don't like horror movies i don't like horror fucking you know like shows or whatever the fuck like, i don't like horror games i don't like them because i genuinely have a fear of like horror shit i get fucked and terrified when it comes to horror stuff like a good example is like saw i cannot watch saw whatsoever the whole saw trilogy series movies bullshit i can't watch it i remember i try to watch like bits and pieces but it's not for me i physically cannot watch it because i get absolutely terrified of seeing shit like that when it comes to other horror stuff too like you know like the conjuring or like the conjuring or the conjuring like one of those fucking things when it comes to something like that like it really doesn't bother me because like when it comes to like like demons ghosts ghost horror like bullshit like you know whatever stuff like that really that does that doesn't really get me like too like scared it's usually like you know humans that get me scared like when it comes to like demons possession like all that type of like gothic horror style bullshit or whatever like monsters or whatever like the thing or the blob or whatever you want to call it like that really doesn't get me like as terrified i still kind of scary like ooh spooky but it really doesn't like i could watch it like i'm like yeah it's cool i get it but when it comes to humans i fucking hate humans that when that humans are fucking scary i don't think you understand how absolutely terrifying humans can be so seeing something like saw that makes me think that there's someone out there in real life doing shit like that i fucking can't stand it it makes me absolutely terrified however when it comes to dead space that's when things get a little complicated because i absolutely love dead space that is one of the games that i really do appreciate when it comes to like like a uh, space horror whatever, whatever you want to call it i know there's a term for it i think it's called like sci-fi horror like the like the thing or like the blob or like some space you know anomaly whatever the fuck or whatever you want to call it like what there's another there's another like good there's a good movie i forgot what it's called i just watched it recently when i say really recently like for the first time in my life ever whatever like it's a couple years ago and it, i think it's called event horizon where a spaceship literally goes in order for it to like travel the universe it opens a portal but it opened a portal to like to hell and they went in and it was a whole literally like dead space it was beautiful it was beautiful it was a shot movie i loved it but that's the thing when it comes to like certain horror movies and or games or like other forms of media there's some of them that i cannot handle i physically cannot watch it because i get too fucking terrified when it comes to certain horror like shit like i said when it comes to like you know demons possession like ghost bullshit whatever the fuck maybe like space horror like i could deal with it like oh yeah woohoo, like spooky but like when it comes to humans like doing shit that's whenever i don't want to watch it i don't want to see like shit like that whenever things are really fucking like to the like a gore to the max of like you know saw like i can't handle that i can't see that because that's too terrifying for me for some people it's the opposite other people they don't like it all some people watch fucking bible stories i don't really give a shit billions whatever you want to do honestly as long as you have fun with your little life i don't really care so go right ahead rock on 
But anyways, I know this whole like story had a point. Oh yeah, so I get into these benches of like, oh, I want to know everything about Dead Space. I get, I, I get into these type of things, and like for like practical reasons, of course. Like so, like for example, instead of just learning about like the lore of like Dead Space, I'll still do that, of course. But I will also want to know about like the development of the game too, specifically game development. I want to know everything for how they cited all the fucking like colors for like the for like you know the maps or the world of the of Dead Space. I want to see like the music composed and how they did it and when they did it and like how they got inspired to do such a thing. I want to see the inspirational ideas for these developers to like that how they got all this stuff. And Dead Space has a fucking gnarly like example of how game development can go all the way to the fucking the crisp of like you know borderline like psychopathic like fucking ideas like, i won't lie to you like they like here's a fun fact this just goes to show you the testament on how really good dead space is whenever it comes to like the design and the art style when people when the people created the necromorphs you know the giant fucking the main like creatures monsters of the fucking dead space universe whatever like if pe when people created them they uh you they cited uh, it, it sounds stupid, I know, but it's also kind of creepy and crazy, and I really do appreciate this effort of like, woo, like they went and they went to uh, they went to police departments or like you know uh, uh, mortuaries or what do you want to call it, and they asked for pictures of car crash victims. That was one of them they did. It was car crash victims that they wanted, and not specifically car crash victims. Also, you know, people that got hit by fucking cars too, of course, and also animals that got hit by fucking cars too. Basically any form of manslaughter like that so when it or vehicular manslaughter whatever you want to call it so we when it comes to all that type of stuff right there they went and they asked for pictures and they saw fucking a shit ton of pictures uh pictures these developers of very like gruesome like car accidents of people being mangled and all fucked up and shit and animals too being mangled and all fucked up and shit like they went and, and asked for all these pictures and they got them because you know dead space and when they create uh they use that as a reference for de designing the details of like the protruding fucking opinion coming from the back fucking like like spine of the, these fucking necromorphs or like the elongated like arms and uh, like legs that just would extend via like body uh, bodily tissues and or muscular like fucking you know veins and shit just fucking extending the the already fucking broken bones of these th uh, beings that are like created within the whole story because of the the, the marker and shit you know it's, it's dead space lore if I'm correct, don't don't quote me on this, but if I'm correct, a few of the developers legitimately got like physically ill because of the amount of like, you know, pictures and bullshit that they had to look through and they had to see in order a reference to make these type of, you know, the creatures and monsters in Dead Space. Like some of the developers got physically ill because they were watching and looking at some of this shit. And again, it sounds dumb, but I really do appreciate that sense of like uh, meticulous detail when it comes to designing a game like that it is so fucking cool knowing that they actually did put in that like extra a effort because they could have just went off of fucking like bullshit mind references and they could have just like did the best they could with what they got with imagination like that's cool i do appreciate it that's still good don't get me wrong but the fact that they went and looked at like you know people that were mangled by fucking vehicles and other like forms of what are the fuck like you know from like you know all these other ideas and references that happen in real life that is i don't know about y'all but that just it makes me it makes me a little giddy because i'm like oh that's so cool because they put in that extra effort to get that perfect detail when it comes to a little thing and this was a 360 fucking game too this wasn't even like some 4k hd resolution bullshit like this was a fucking 360 game a new ip that has never been fucking thought of before but the only like inspiration that comes from that that comes from the birth of this thing was from like resident evil and it was like wow that's so fucking cool that they did that and those same people that made Dead Space are also the exact same people that are making the Callisto Protocol. Now, of course, there's of course not all of them are there making the game, but a lot of the developers that made Dead Space, the original, are also making or at least made the Callisto Protocol. That's fucking cool. 
So of course, Dead Space, the original, will always have a special place in my heart because I absolutely love that game. That game is so much fun. That is one of the only horror games that I really honestly truly finished and beat and also a trilogy of them because I consider Dead Space 2 and 3 horror games, of course, I'm not gonna lie to you. I absolutely love those games. They're so much fun, so addictive, and the story and the fucking, the art style, the music and the and like the ambiance of like the pole like you know the ship of the ishimura like it's all so fucking beautiful i love it i love it all even like the random quiet moments too within dead space like you're walking through like the little corridors and you like turn the corner you head into a bathroom and it's like the most fucking surreal thing you ever experienced in your entire fucking existence because it's just quiet like that's it you hear like the the scraping of bones on the uh, on the ship in the far distance maybe a, a scream in the far distance here and there or at least you think it's a scream you don't know what the hell it is or and you hear like random noises of like pss from like the pipes and stuff going off like in the far background or maybe something like a wrench like falling or whatever like you just hear like the ambiance of it all and you're just in a fucking bathroom and that is fucking terrifying because you are safe in the bathroom that you think of but if you walk outside in the hallway like you don't know what the fuck's out there like that's brutal to me and knowing that the developers of the original dead space are also making or at least made the callisto protocol makes me so excited for that game i cannot wait to play that game that's gonna be so much fucking fun to play the callisto protocol and see you know parallel juxtapose where the fuck synonym that you want to call it just to see the the differences bef to, uh, between uh, between dead space the original and dead space remaster and also the callisto protocol and see what these people like you know they had so many years to hone their skill imagine what they did imagine all the detail they fucking made in that game can you like imagine all the stuff that goes on in that game that like the art the style the fucking the music the ambiance everything i just repeated before i just repeat myself again like can you imagine how beautiful that is keep in mind i have seen dick when it comes to uh the the trailers of the callisto protocol i've seen literally nothing of the game i've seen absolutely nothing i've seen the first cinematic trailer of the game like all those years ago and that's it i've had sad no contact with the trailers gameplay tra nothing i haven't seen literally nothing when it comes to the callisto protocol i've seen maybe a small clip it a snippet like real quick but immediately turn off i didn't want to see it see it whatsoever because i don't want to see trailers i want to play the game i want to experience this all for myself because i know nothing about it and that is so exciting to me now am i hyping myself up a little too much yes and do i care i don't give a shit so it's, listen i'm excited for the game i want to play the callisto protocol it's just that as you tell i don't have any of my equipment with me to play the game and i also want to play dead space remastered edition but i want to play it but again i don't have any of my shit with me so it's just real fucking annoying that i can't do any of that stuff i can't play the game i would make videos of course i'm gonna make videos on this on both games actually now hold on i will probably make one video for each game because i want to play have a playthrough by myself with the game and experience it with by myself and that's just me will i replay it again fuck yes will i do it like on a stream maybe i might stream it who knows that's a that's a that's a that's a story tell the future who knows what i might do we doing who knows what i might be doing in the far future why am i whispering right now because you know maybe i just hinted at something i might do in the future who knows maybe a live stream i don't know <laughs> but anyways anything dead space i absolutely love the memorabilia i want to there's an art book too i want to get in the future of an, of the the art style and of, of, of dead space the first one i think it's dead space one or three i forgot which one it is but they made an art book and i want to get that bit book because i want to go through it i want to look at all the cool stuff they have in it because that's so much fun to think of all the cool shit that they've done within the both games dead space and the Callisto protocol my excitement is just it's through the roof I, I i cannot wait to play those games it's gonna be so much fun but as you can tell i need to keep my excitement to a minimum because i don't have any access to any of that type of stuff so it kind of sucks but i mean it just it's gonna make the the actual like acquiring of all my stuff even more sweeter than usual so i cannot wait but anyways this video has been going on too long enough i could tell because i i don't know i actually don't know honestly I'm, I'm just saying what i think i feel so let me be honest with everybody thank you all again for watching my videos i really do appreciate it 
please subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 100 subscribers. Keep in mind, I'm making a batch of videos, so you know that you're gonna next next. The next video might not be in the batch; might be a little later on because this was a lot. So I really don't know. We'll have to see and find out. No. Nonetheless, thank you all again for watching my little channel and my little videos and listening to me rant and like go on and explain my excitement for this, this type of stuff. I am truly thankful for all y'all. And yeah, that's basically it. If you can, please share the video, share it with your friend, family, dog, cat, it really doesn't matter to me, a turtle baby, I appreciate those three animals, turtles, cats, and dogs, I really do appreciate them. So share the video with somebody, get us, let's, let's get us to uh, the, finally the 100 subscriber. Cause right now, I, right now we're, we're at 98, we're almost at 100. So share the video and let's, let's get to that point. But anyways, thank you again for watching my little channel. I really do appreciate it. Have a ground night.